By the end of this section, you will know how to get rid of the ugly quotes error permanently no matter what type of web app you are building, either just a front-end web app or server-side only web app or a front-end web app along with the server-side API. I got you covered. Let's get started. By the end of this lecture, I will be showing you how to quickly fix the course error from a simple front-end JavaScript app. In order to see the course error, we need to make a simple HTTP request to an external API server directly from our JavaScript app. As you can see, I have a simple index.html file and it has a basic HTML template, nothing fancy. Now let's make a HTTP request. So add the script tags right before the ending body tag like so. In there, I'm going to make a get request using fetch JavaScript API. I will be using Google Maps API as an external API server in this lecture for demonstration purposes. So fetch opening and closing parentheses. Inside that add a set of double quotes. In there, I'm going to paste the Google Maps API URL that I have already copied. If you want to learn more about Google Maps API, I have a ton of resources available and you can check them in the description below. Okay, this will return a promise, which is basically means it returns the response status of the request, either it's successful or error. To capture the response status, I am going to call the then function. So dot then open and closing parenthesis and define an arrow function inside the parenthesis with a parameter called response like so which is where I will be capturing the response status of the get request. In there console log the response Let's run the index.html on the browser and here is the ugly course error. To fix the course error in this scenario, all we have to do is to use an external proxy server. There are few proxy URLs that you can use to get rid of this course error. You can see some of them listed here as well as in the description. The one I'm going to be using this example is Heroku course proxy URL. The reason I use this because it's very simple and straightforward. Now, all I have to do is to append this Heroku proxy URL to the Google Maps API URL like so. Let's test it out on the browser. Sometimes you may get a request failed with status code 403 or similar error even after adding the proxy URL. In that case, we need to request a temporary access to the Heroku proxy URL. To do that, go to the browser and type https colon slash slash course hyphen anywhere dot heroku app dot com slash course demo hit enter then click the request access button that's it switch back to the browser and you can see the response object with the status 200 which is for success nice this works great and easy to fix right however i would be skeptical to use this approach in my production app because the heroku course proxy url is a third party one that i do not have any control over that means the proxy domain could be down anytime because of a lot of web apps will be trying to hit the same url at the same time and the unexpected increase in server traffic could lead to server crashing but there is a better way to fix the course error permanently by making an http request from the server not from the client which is what i will be covering in the next lecture by the end of this lecture you will learn on how to make an http request 
to an external server from your Node.js app using the Axios NPM package. I also going to discuss why course error cross origin resource sharing won't be an issue when making an HTTP request on the server side in contrast to the client. Let's get started. As you can see, I have a simple Node.js app up and running with a single home route, nothing fancy. If you want to know how to get started with Node.js, I have a link in the description that will show you just that in four easy steps. The first step is to install the Axios NPM package into the project. Axios is one of the most popular, robust, promise-based HTTP clients for the browser as well as Node.js applications. I'm going to open up terminal window from Visual Studio Code Editor. Terminal, new terminal, which automatically selects this project that I want to install Axios to. Then I'm going to run the npm install Axios command like so. Once it's done, I can go to the package.json and see the installed version of Axios under the dependencies object. The next step is to import Axios to the index.js file. I'm going to require Axios and store it in the Axios constant, which will be an object that we can make any HTTP request on. So const space Axios equals require opening and closing parenthesis and semicolon then type axios inside the codes like so the third step is to actually making an http request to an external server inside home route and i will be using google maps api in this example so axios dot get opening and closing parenthesis the get method will take the api url as an argument that we want to get data from in this case google maps api i have already copied the url and i'm going to paste it in between the parentheses inside the course like so this will return a promise which basically capturing the response status of this http request whether it's getting data from the server or some sort of error to capture that i'm going to call then method on it so after the ending parenthesis of the get method type dot then opening and closing parenthesis which will take a function as an argument in this case i use the arrow function with the parameter response which is where i will be capturing the response data of the http request so response equals angle bracket opening and closing curly braces like so inside that I'm going to send the response data that I'm going to receive from the URL to the browser so res dot send opening and closing parenthesis and semicolon inside the parenthesis I'm going to say response dot data alternatively it also can throw an error to capture that we need to use catch method so dot catch opening closing parenthesis similar to the then method it also takes function as an argument so error equals angle bracket opening and closing curly braces then i'm going to just console log the error message the console.log opening closing parenthesis semicolon error in between the parenthesis like so let's run the app so go to the terminal window make sure you are in the right project then run node space index.js head back to the browser and go to localhost colon 3000 hit enter and there is a data coming from an external server in this case google maps api nice one of the big advantages of making an http request to an external server from your server side app is you do not have to worry about course error at all which is cross origin resource sharing this is because course is browser only mechanism to secure cross origin requests and data transfers between client and server 
mainly for security purposes, but it does not apply to server-side only web apps. That is really cool. Now, what if I have a front-end web app running on a separate server than my server-side app? How do I fix the core error when I'm trying to communicate between those two applications? Which is what I will be covering in the next lecture. I'll see you there. By the end of this lecture, you will have a better understanding on how to fix course error permanently with your client slash server side web app. The good news is that I already have the client side only JavaScript app as well as the server side only Node.js app that I have created earlier that I'm going to be using to demonstrate on how to fix the course error. Let's make sure that they are both running in our local host. As you can see, I have my simple client side only JavaScript app running on my local host colon 5500. I also have my Node.js app running on my local host with port 3000. So local host colon 3000 here. First, what I'm going to do is to get Google Maps API data from my own Node.js server to my client side app rather than making an HTTP request directly from my client side app to avoid the course error. So all I have to do is to go to my client app and replace the Google Maps API URL to my server side app URL, which is of course localhost colon 3000. Inside the fetch method, get rid of the Google Maps API URL string inside the quotes and replace the localhost 3000. So HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 3000, like so. Refresh the page from my client side app and it says failed to fetch which is basically a course error without actual message you may wonder why am i getting the course error as my client and server apps are both running on my local host the same domain right but browsers only do not give course error when the protocol domain and port numbers are the same but clearly in our client side app which is running on the port 5500 has a different port number than the server side app which is running on port 3000 the first step is to fix the course error between our own servers is to add a specific header called access control allow origin to the response object inside our server side node.js app the value of this header will be a client side app url so go to our node.js app right above the response sent code i'm going to type res dot header opening closing parenthesis and semicolon inside there i'm going to add the header name in quotes so access hyphen control hyphen allow and hyphen origin comma the second argument is going to be our client side app url so http colon slash slash localhost colon 5500 in quotes please make sure that the value in the client side url that you want to talk to this node.js app let's restart the server node space index.js and refresh the page to make sure it's running once it's running then head over to our client side app and refresh it there we go now i can see the response data with the status 200 nice you may wonder what does the access control allow origin header do well it will make sure that only the url specified in the header will be able to access our server side app which basically protects data coming from our node.js app i also can safeguard my api keys from third-party servers such as google maps api in this approach to demonstrate that i have a second client side app running on localhost port 5501 when i try to access the server side node.js app using the localhost 300 inside my second client side app i get a same error failed to fetch that's because of the response header in my node.js app which only allows the client running on localhost colon 5500 if i change the port number from 5500 to 5501 and restart the server now my second client app 
we'll have access to the data coming from the server but not the first one and I get the failed fetch error in here this is how easy it is to fix course error permanently now you may wonder this is very similar to proxy URL server that we are using before right yes it is very similar but this time we have created our own proxy server that we have full control over this is how easy it is to fix course error permanently